But I say, oh, yeah. exciting, exciting. Who it's going to be good for a lot. From our friends, very, very, very close to open quarters for me. I mean, it is actually local. I know what it is, semantic. It is that close, Bailey. It's a Bad Shepherd white tea and green tea lager. Ooh. Well, I certainly agree with that snap crack on pump. It's a 350 milliliter can, it's 4% alcohol, I believe. It's an IBU or whatever the hell it is, I don't give a shit. R15 is 1.1 1. 1 standard drinks down under standard. Oh, yes, they are independent. Noise. And I make a brew. Come on, that's good. Description G, the Atelier's bubble loving, bubble tea loving kitchen whiz. Cooks up delicious wings every Wednesday. Well, it's a brew and bubble. You will work it out. She's all about flavors from her beloved Elon County. White cheese and gray tea roast grow natively there. Ooh, when I add it to a lighter base and make a beautiful light and fragrant beer. This one's huge. Jimmy Krista cheers and said, John Bayel. So she's Taiwanese bubble tea lover. She likes it with the sort of squashy bubbles, the bursting bubbles, because that's the original OG Taiwanese bubble tea. Invented it in the 80s, blew up in the 90s, and then the Chinese stole it in the 2000s and swapped the exploding bubbles for boiled taro balls, usually sweetened with honey. <laughs> so, ooh, it's bubble tea! And it's got taro balls. It's Chinese, not Taiwanese. You're more likely to find Taiwanese bubbles at a shows you can hear a good place. We can wear them at the strawberry ones, at the beach ones, at the mango ones. They're little popping pedals, they call them. That's Taiwanese style. And you may think, oh yes, but you're being an angler and you dickhead. Yeah? And have you ever had real bubble tea? That's fucking amazing! And I, and I don't mean Taiwanese real bubble tea. I mean, you, you, next time you go, get a taro ball and then... Dude, it's just not that. Just give me the fucking branch of green tea milky drink. Leave that fucking shit alone. Aside. I don't want those stupid balls. I, I want my purple and pearls. It's just not the same. And of course, it works better with a nice fruity drink. Mm. Nice summertime refresher. I like this one, should it be? Mmm. Mm. Awesome. Looking forward to this one. I love Blackie. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Blackies. Some furry bills there to send us at home. I would recommend it though. Um, I bet the skin's pretty nasty and the seed's even more nasty. And gentlemen, well that's, that's a nice thing. I've got nothing against gentlemen. It's a very lovely supple flavour that's could really need to use in the West world, actually. I'm pouring this like an absolute ass hat. Look at that lovely opaque straw color. Really well carbonated. Gives hat like Susie around the back of the Maccas. Behind the dumpster, of course. Of course, she's a traditionalist. Got to be behind the dumpster. <laughs> Smells like shit. Yeah, it smells like a really nice number. You're getting lots of a sweet, sweet yeast coming off it. That's a good sign. I'm really nice, light, really refreshing beer, that one. Yeah. And straight again is what I'm getting a really 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 yeasty beer
a really subtle and non-existent flavouring. I mean, it's super yeasty, but a nice pickling tint of alcohol. This is a beer aimed at the other tradition of yeah, not those sort of marjoristic, microscopically endowed, hops, <laughs> fetishist, who just can't stop cranking one out over hops, of their uh, um, rather creepy fetish of over hops. Makers and ease of and goes down like bloody rat poison to feel anything because uh, they're so emotionally bastardized. Destitute. No. Oop, there's something going on there. Maybe it's the jasmine. Probably. The taste buds are a bit jaded after all. They've been there, done that. I thought it does a very good job of diluting and hiding flavours. So it's not enough for you to taste. Alcohol. You have a very, very concentrated flavour. Tease anything out of it. No, I, I can't tease any flavour at all. I'm not getting lunchy. Uh, ah, it's great tea. Mm. Well, aren't I a fool? I'm not getting lunchy, I'm not getting green tea. What is Jasmine? Pays the reading instead of a shoe. <laughs> anyway, I'm not getting any of that. I probably mean if I mentioned the green tea. Boring, you know. My brain's like, hey! Hello! I don't want her. You want to know how to say yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss off. Hi, sir. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting absolutely nothing for the flavor profile. This is smoother than a room full of baby's asses. Because after all, I mean, the people decided that was a bit, you know, you see what babies do and that thing. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, used to be the metaphor for the ultimate, ultimate in smoothness. <laughs> it's smoother than a room full of bees asses there for, for those who uh, I don't know. If they ain't just white in, don't get it. <laughs> um, very yeasty. Um, and, um, yeah. It's just, it's just a really good, smooth drinking everyday beer. It's, it's, it's inoffensive to a fault. And uh, that's why I fucking idiot. I kept saying it was Jasmine. Well, even the boss of us, like complete and colossal tits of ourselves. Such a tit that I better fuck off and get a bra fit and make sure I, uh, I get the appropriate degree of support I clearly need on that horrendous pump that bastard is off for a fitting